Let's get started with the first question today from Zach Klein. Good morning, Coach. Just wonder if you have any updates on Trey and Clint, please. I don't, Zach. Uh, I, I have not gotten an update with uh, with our trainers. Um, I'll meet with those guys. We're meeting at the Plains, so we didn't come in this morning um, to to talk about anything. Dara Spencer. Hey, Nate. Um, what kind of growth have you seen from Onyeka uh, throughout these playoffs? It seems like he's been able to give you guys some big energy plays and, and is just playing well out there. He's doing a really good job. You know, he's showing that, you know, his uh, his feel for the game. He has a good feel for the game. I think his basketball IQ is very high uh, and that has shown uh, really throughout the season, uh, you know, having to make adjustments on, uh, you know, what to do out on the floor as far as setting angles of screens, uh, uh, rolling to the basket, the timing, uh, you know, playing off of Gallinari. A lot of times teams are trying to uh, front the post. So the connection of the two bigs is really important. And he's done a really good job of making reads. Uh, on the offensive end of the floor. Defensively, uh, he continues to uh, improve uh, on his pick and roll defense. Uh, he's had to, uh, you know, basically uh, guard Giannis, uh, you know, so keeping a, a forward like that, really uh, a point forward in front of you. Uh, he's really done a good job, solid job of doing that, as well as rotating, uh, defending the basket, and rebound in the basketball. So he continues to show uh, growth uh, throughout, you know, he's done that throughout the season and certainly throughout these playoffs uh, where he has been very productive for us. Have you been impressed with just kind of the maturity and, and poise you're seeing from him considering that, I mean, he's only 20 and he's, he's battling so well in, you know, conference finals? Yeah, I mean, he he does he has a calmness about him, and uh, you know he's he's uh, he doesn't get out there and he's not afraid. Uh, you know, he's a confident player. He asks a lot of questions about you know what is needed, what should I do, uh, you know. So he's constantly uh, asking questions uh, to our coaches about you know uh, things that uh, he needs to do and how to do them. And uh, he has shown that growth. So uh, he is he, he does play as a, uh, a very mature uh, rookie uh, coming into this league. Thank you. Raphael Haynes. Hey, coach, just to piggyback off of that, just looking at the team overall. I mean, a lot of these guys hadn't played in the playoffs and you continuously see them learning as the playoffs go, have you ever been around a team where the entire team is learning like this? And can you pinpoint on why they're able to learn so fast on the fly? You know, I, I give that, you know, a lot of credit to our staff. Uh, our, our staff does a great job with these guys, uh, not only working them out on the floor, but uh, showing them video. Uh, I, I basically, they uh, see video of, themselves or what we want them to do pretty much every day, you know, so our coaches have done a great job of, uh, of uh, coaching and teaching, uh, especially our young guys, you know, our young guys who we are, we know that we're developing, um, you know, spending time with those guys uh, in the video room, uh, spending one-on-one -on -one time with them um, out on the floor uh, that has helped, you know, these guys uh, when they've gotten into a situation where they have to play, uh, you know, big old, all of our guys, you know, Trey, uh, you know, all of those guys are showing that growth. And, uh, you know, that's a credit to uh, the coaching staff. Our, our coaches are doing a, a great job with the players. And just a quick follow up. What have you learned from yourself? Just what have you learned talking about yourself throughout these playoffs? Uh, you know, I mean, I, mean, I just have to be patient, you know, the same thing that I'm telling my guys, uh, you know, um, 
uh, that they need to do uh, or they need to bring to the floor. I need to bring that same mindset, uh, you know, to the court, you know, be patient um, out there. And, um, you know, you constantly learning, uh, you know, with this group, you know, last night, uh, you know, we had to basically uh, come up with a rotation, uh, you know, uh, with the, the game last night with Trey being out. And all of a sudden, we got to bump guys up, move guys around. Uh, it really, uh, you know, challenged you to uh, come up with a rotation uh, that, you know, will help these guys uh, or put these guys in position where they can be productive with the lineup uh, that they're playing with out on the floor. Uh, you know, Cam hasn't played a lot for us, but last night, uh, you know, he... We was able to get him in rotation, and he really came up big for us last night. I thought he played with a lot of poise, uh, you know, under control, just was solid on both ends of the floor, you know, bringing that length. You know, he I think he had five or six rebounds, uh, you know, so we needed all of that, uh, you know, from our guys. So basically, I'm still learning uh, with our group. Uh, really, I've, I've only <laughs> coached Cam for two, three games. Um, uh, because when, when he went out, uh, you know, coach Pierce was, was coaching at that time. Uh, this is, I've only had really two, three games to, uh, to work with him. And, uh, the kid has a lot of talent, uh, and he, he really helped us out last night. Zach Klein. Now that Clint has shown the ability to hit from behind the backboard coach, has he has to be more involved in your offense. Oh my goodness! You know, how, you know, we, you know. Sometimes, you know, there are plays in the game uh, that you know, you know, either you make or an opponent makes that you know that it, it may be your night. And uh, when when Clint, you know, shot that shot and uh, the follow through, uh, I mean, I I I haven't. I mean, I think Larry Bird shot a shot like that, but. It wasn't as deep as as Clint. I mean, Clint was out of bounds, fading away, and um, it, you just you just felt like it was going to be our night uh, uh, when that ball went through. Stephanie Sutton from ABC Milwaukee. Yes, I have a two parter. I want to know what your initial reaction was when Giannis went down last night during the game in the third quarter. Well, you, you're always concerned, you know, uh, you know, he's an opponent, but uh, I have respect for him and you don't want anything bad, you know, to, to happen. Uh, I didn't really see the play. So I didn't know exactly what happened on that play. Uh, I thought it was an ankle, uh, that injury. And, you know, I found out later that it was uh, his knee that he hyperextended. Um, so I didn't really see uh, what happened on that play. You know, I, I, you know, whenever, you know, the, the, the whole bench and the coaching staff comes out to the floor uh, to check on a player, you know, and the trainers and he can't get up, uh, he needed assistance off the floor. Uh, you're concerned, you know, and you don't want to see that, you know, uh, he's a hell of a player. But, you know, you, you, you still don't want to see that. And I really uh, had a great deal of respect for our fans last night uh, when they, uh, you know, supported that. You know, they, 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 they didn't want to see that. You know, they were uh, respectful uh, when he was uh, going off the floor. And, you know, they were happy to see that he was able to really go off the floor uh, walking as opposed to uh, needing a lot more assistance. So I, I really uh, thought that was really good by our fan base. And then I was going to ask, I know we don't know at this moment, but how do you prepare for the Bucks now without Giannis? Well, I mean, we, we, we're, I mean, that's still a really good team. And, you know, uh, it's the same way we, we've been preparing for them. You know, there are times when he's on the bench and they come with a different lineup and, uh, you know, they will feature, you know, certain, you know, other guys. And, you know, with him uh, 
being off the floor. I mean, the preparation is really still the same uh, uh, far as preparing for them. You know, you have to, you don't just prepare for Giannis. Uh, they have a lot of other guys over there that are productive and, and, and can play and uh, they can go to. So um, we'll continue to prepare for the Bucks as opposed to, you know, just uh, one, one individual. Tim Bontemps. Nate, you had said last night that Cam was going to be in the rotation either way. Um, I was just curious what led to you guys deciding to give him that kind of opportunity, especially like you said, when he hasn't had much of a chance to be on the court anytime recently at all. I just felt it was time to uh, go with that rotation. Terrell Thomas. Uh, good morning, Coach. You've pretty much led your guys through every situation. It's, it's no, nothing pretty much surprises you at this point. You guys have won on the road. So as you head to Milwaukee for game five, uh, with, you know, so much up in the air, not, not currently knowing the status of Trey or Giannis, what has been your message to your team? Well, I, I haven't met with the team this morning. Um, we are meeting at the plane, so we will have a meeting uh, once we uh, get to Milwaukee. But the the the, mind, the 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 message will be to uh, get yourself prepared. You know, I think preparation uh, is the key to success. And um, you know, we we talked about that. We've been talking about that for a long time, but we certainly talked about that uh, before uh, last night's game. You know, mentally, physically. Uh, getting yourself prepared uh, to play a, a tough game. And, uh, you know, that would be the message uh, tonight, you know, when we get in, you know, get whatever you need, your rest, uh, you know, uh, get away, uh, massage, treatment, uh, and mentally get yourself uh, ready for which what is going to be a battle. Uh, we, we know it's going to be tough uh, to uh, go into Milwaukee and, and when there, but we've done that and uh, we're capable of doing that. Uh, and we have to get our minds, mindset uh, ready for that challenge um, as far as the things that we're gonna need to do, uh, the energy that we're going to uh, need to bring, you know, so recharge, you know, recharge uh, uh, tonight and tomorrow, and uh, you know, we're gonna have to dump everything we have out on the floor again uh, tomorrow night. Thank you, Coach. Mark Bradley. Um, coach, uh, apologies if you've been asked this, but as a coach, you tend to be, everything tends to be about next game, next game, next game. Um, and, and how you prepare for that. Do you, have you had a chance to step back from this and think and, and kind of like take a look at the greater picture, the bigger picture and think, man, this is some kind of run we're on here. I know we're on a, a really special uh, run and you really, it's a blessing, you know, uh, it, it really is. Uh, I know we're on a, 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 a special run, uh, but I haven't no, I haven't really thought too much about that, you know, because we are still on this run. The focus is the next game. And, uh, you know, we, you know, I think when all of this is over uh, and whenever that may be, and hopefully that's, you know, you know, that's a, a ways down the road. Uh, you, you sit back and you think about all of that. But right now, no, it's, it's, it's just the focus is on the next game because we need to win the next game and we need to prepare ourselves uh, for that next game. You know, so, you know, yeah, you, you, you that's in the back of your mind, but the, the focus is always on, uh, you know, that next game being better than you were uh, because you're going to need to be. Uh, and, you know, that's that's been our focus to uh, just stay focused on, on uh, what's, the, what's in front of us. Thank you. Davide. 
Hey, coach, um, going to the preparation of this game, obviously you don't know if Trey is going to be there or not for you. How do you prepare? Do you have two different plans? Do you tell the team, you know, be ready? I'm just curious about that. No, we don't. We don't have two different plans. You just to have, you have to adapt. And I think the, uh, you know, we, we often talk about that, uh, having to adapt to conditions and, uh, you know, you know, and, and that's a part of uh, coaching. That's part of the NBA, uh, being able to adapt, being able to adjust. Uh, we, we, we talk to our team about that all the time because uh, during the course of an NBA game, you're constantly making adjustments. You're constantly adapting to uh, situations that you can't really plan for. You know, it was very similar to, uh, you know, Trey uh, really going out and trying to warm up and, and, and you know, he's in uniform and, uh, you know, he's trying to uh, give it a go. And, you know, but 40 minutes before the game, uh, he can't. And, you know, so, okay, we got to adjust to him being out. And uh, we have to make that adjustment, you know, so you talk to your players, you talk to your team, uh, you know, similar to a player getting in foul trouble early and you have to go with a different rotation, uh, you know, so you're constantly doing that throughout, you know, the game, um, throughout the season. Uh, it's just part of what we have to uh, be prepared for and be able to make those decisions and make those adjustments uh, on the fly like that. Any final questions for Coach McMillan? There are currently no hands raised. So we will let you go. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.